back at it uh for the third time uh in one night here uh this is uh the bullpen league episode seven uh as i record it right now i have no idea exactly what the title's gonna be but it's uh you know something all-star break related i don't fucking know man something i have no idea what the title's gonna be um if uh if you maybe didn't know i'll keep it brief but uh the uh the last two episodes episodes 54 and 55 i released on the same day as this one uh because i you know i've recently moved and i thought i was gonna have some consistency after making my first episodes here and i haven't yet so you know all last day of the all-star breaks today i'm coming at you with three episodes this is three of three uh i have been inviscerating this bag of sun chips uh the harvest cheddar has uh been getting harvested you could say and uh my throat I, I think I've bitched, not bitched, I've acknowledged it. I wouldn't call it bitching. If you want to call it bitching, fine. But I, I've, my throat is, uh, it feels fine, but, and I can't tell if I sound different or what, but I feel like it's, it's wearing down on my, on my voice a little, but you know, that's what it is. I got to talk at work too. It's like, it's life. You got to talk, drink water. It's fine. So I'm drinking water. And, uh, so yeah, we got, uh, one day left of the all-star break here, so I figured it would be fun to check in with the league. It's also, you know, about to be, about to be two weeks, I think. Uh, it's, I think two weeks would technically be coming up this upcoming Monday, but, uh, the bullpen league usually comes out every two weeks, and, uh, I think technically this week, since it's coming out on Thursday, it actually might be early. Somebody can fact check me, but whatever. So this is uh, Untitled Episode 7. Uh, we're at the All-Star break. We've got one more day. Uh, so let's see uh, where your favorite teams are at. Uh, we've got in first place, remaining at the top of the pack, Shit Ass 99 with uh, 68 points leading the way, uh, followed by Stubby Clapped in uh, second place, uh, 63 points. Uh, Francisco Lindor Hate Club is uh, shortly behind with 62. And then this is just appalling. This is shocking. The Dick Trickle Fan Club, yours truly's team, my team, has climbed out of sixth place for now. And is in fourth place at sixty-one and a half points, a half point behind third, the uh, the Francisco Lindor Hate Club. So, uh, yeah, my team has not been out of sixth place since. Let me look. Episode three. Since episode three, it looks like I have been in sixth place, and it has stayed that way until the All Star break. So yeah, let's uh that's pretty fucking neat, but you know what? Uh Mets 270 uh always in the mix. He led the league for uh the first half of the year, pretty much the whole first half of the year uh before shit ass 99 took over. Mets 270 was leading the pack and uh and you know this this episode uh I'm going to be going through my notebook of uh of the first half of the season so far, and we're going to reminisce a little bit because, you know, the uh, the fantasy baseball season, you know, it uh, it's, a, it's a little journey, and, you know, injuries affect a lot, and, you know, uh, you can go into a season thinking, oh, fuck yeah, I got it, you know, we're going to do it, and then you end up getting knocked around, and maybe you get shoved in sixth place for the whole fucking year. So, um, you know... It, it, it'll be fun to look back here and, and see, you know, how we got here, what happened. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll keep it as concise as possible, but, you know, it'll be fun to look back. So, as I said, Mets 270 is in fifth place, uh, followed by Junior Mafia in uh, sixth there uh, with uh, 56 and a half points. You know, I, 
I'm no scientist. I'm not sure what happened, but you know, he's he's going to be hopping back up there. You know, he was uh Junior Mafia has spent time in first place, second place. He's been up there in the mix, you know, and the uh up until recently that sixth place spot has been occupied forever. So, uh it'll be interesting to see. I don't think it's a it's a hole for everybody. I don't think anybody uh, is personally going to spend any longer amount of time in sixth place than myself. So I uh, I assume uh, Junior Mafia, Peen's going to be climbing out of there. And uh, we got Frat Matt in seventh place, holding it down still, and uh, Nipsey Hustle in eighth as well. Uh, both, you know, kind of down there in their own category. They're duking it out down there, separated by five points. Uh, you know, I, we've talked about it before, you know, a lot of times in the standings, you know, the uh, the teams can kind of separate into, you know, you end up competing with like a couple teams because you're, uh, you know, close with them in the standings all year. And it's like, oh, you just want to, you just want to try to finish above them, you know, on, on a, at the end of one day, you know, that's uh, at least with me with fantasy, it's fun to look at the shit in the middle of the day. And, you know, at one point you were doing really good and maybe you hopped up there I, I swear, at one point, I think I was in second place. I We can fact check it, but at one point, I was in first fucking place, too. No, not first. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fa that fact check would not hold up. That fact check would not hold up at all. I was never in first place. Shit-ass 99's been leading the way. But uh, I, I was in second place for a little bit. So uh, in the East, we'll go through the divisions to... Uh, in the East, Stubby Clapped is actually leading the way in the East, I think only by like a point or something. I think it's a point. Uh, yeah, he's uh, he's up by a point in the East standing. So Stubby Clapped is winning out in the division, which is, you know, another thing with uh, that's interesting with this league, that you can be winning the league by five points and then be second place in your division. And I, uh, I, I work, we might have to figure out something weird for how to do... Uh, you know, the, the placing or, you know, the, I, I want to do a trophy or some shit of some kind. That'd be kind of sick. And I want to, you know, the first, uh, you know, top three, at least we got to, I don't know. We're going to have to figure that out with the divisions and everything. So it'll be fun to figure out, but you know, first year of the league, we're working that shit out. That's the fun of, uh, of doing this fucking show. We'll be able to look back on this and hopefully in a year we, you know, we'll, we'll make some steps and be like yeah this is we do this now so you know whatever uh shit ass 99 in second place in the east followed up by uh frat matt in third and then nipsey hustle uh bringing up the rear there in the east and the west somehow the dick trickle fan club is uh leading the west so somehow i have managed to uh pull ahead in the west not by much. I think I am ahead by a half point, and uh, the Francisco Lindor Hate Club is in second, and Junior Mafia is in third, and Mets 270 currently in last in the division, but still uh, always always in striking distance from anywhere. You know, he's spent, uh, spent some time up there in first. He's got a damn good team. He has all year. The league's still up for fucking grabs for sure. Uh, you know, shit ass 99's leading the way by five. He's been looking cozy up there for a while. But Mets 270, he wants the throne back. Other motherfuckers are hungry. And I'm excited to see what happens. So, uh, there was also a minor trade, uh, between myself and, uh, the, and the, the league leader, actually. Shit ass 99. Uh, we I traded Jason Foley to him for uh, J John Shriver. Uh, John Shriver hoping to get some more holds from him. His ERA is a little higher than uh, than my other relievers, but I'm uh, I think I can live with it. Jason Foley, uh, you know, shit ass ninety nine is going to be able to get some saves, uh, add a little bit more saves. You know, he's been pretty solid for Detroit this year, and uh, you know now I can put a uh, Camilo Duvall in there uh, every day. So I feel like I solved that problem, and now I got an additional reliever to help out in the whole department. So, uh, you know, we uh, I went through the standings. 
I'm, uh, I, I'm, we're, let's just look through the fucking notebook here. And let's see how we got to where we are. So, here we go, opening weekend. We're gonna see how fast I can run through this, because, like I say, I like to be concise. So, opening weekend, Mets 270, just blowing ass. Just fucking torching us. He's got 80 and a half points. I was in second place by 58 and a half. By... So I was in second, but just absolutely not even competing. And then uh, Morel of the Story, actually, who was, uh, that was the Francisco Lindor Hay Club. Uh, back in the day, you know, back back in the uh, the old franchise, the first era of the franchise, 57 and a half points there in third place. Uh, Junior Mafia, 55 and a half in fourth. Shitass 99, our current league leader. Uh, in fifth place, Nipsey Hustle in sixth, where I was wedged forever. Uh, Frat Matt in seventh. Fuck. We're going to have to see if he stayed in seventh the whole year. Dog, I really don't know, but we're going to find out together. Uh, and uh, Stubby Clapped was in last. I remember the Stub Man got a slow start. That was the first episode, or that was episode two, technically. But uh, but that's where we were at. We go to episode three. Uh, Mets 270 still leading the way. Junior Mafia in second. Shitass 99 in third. The Francisco Lindor Hate Club was founded and uh, and took up fourth place. Stubby Clapped in fifth, and the uh, Dick Trickle Fan Club took up sixth place and uh, continued to stay there uh, until this very day. So, uh, or actually not until this very day. I got out of there a little bit ago, but, uh, by the next episode, who the fuck knows? Uh, Frat Matt in seventh, and then, uh, Nipsey Hustle in eighth as well. Uh, that, uh, you know, that, that bottom three stayed, uh, stayed pretty, pretty, you know, around the same neighborhood for a good chunk of the season, too. That was another pattern that, uh, that I ended up seeing. At the time, uh, Mets 270, he had Jackson Holiday. He uh, he had not debuted yet, uh, but it looks like uh, Teoscar Hernandez was off to a hot start. Uh, what else we got here? What's another little tidbit? Uh, at the time, Frat Matt, William Contreras, Shohei Otani, absolutely wrecking shit. They've still been pretty good. After that, when we get to uh, episode four here... Uh, Mets 270, only in the lead by half a point. Shitass 99 is breathing down his fucking neck. 67 and a half points, 267. And then we got Junior Mafia, the FLHC, Stubby Clapped, and the uh, same bottom three that, that holding it down. Do I really gotta say it? If you, if you were listening two seconds ago, you know it. <laughs> they stay pretty consistent. So, uh, Mets 270 still holding on by a thread there into episode four, uh, which by this math, and I did miss some time making this show, so this isn't, this isn't a fair estimate against Shitass 99, but it's looking like they'll have a, 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 you know, Mets 270 has had more episodes where he was in first place, but with me not being consistent with the episodes, through the moving process, uh, you know, the last, like, month or so, you know, I talk about it in that Los Angeles episode. I fucking moved, if you didn't know that, but, you know, whatever. Uh, so, you know, because I, I lost a little bit of consistency there, uh, Shitass99, Jared, you would have had, you know, possibly more episodes, you would have had more episodes in first place, so it's not, that's not a metric for, you know, trying to declare anything, but, uh, I I mean, you get what I'm saying. Okay, I'm going to move on. Uh, uh, Mets 270 holding on by a half point there. Uh, being led by uh, his strong bullpen at the time, it looks like. Uh, Mason Miller was uh, just looking untouchable. He still is. Uh, he uh, he struck out Shohei in the, uh, in the All-Star game, too. Uh, that was pretty fucking sick. Uh, at the time, my team uh, was hitting, not hitting a lot of fucking home runs. And uh, Juan Soto uh, was really fucking hot for, I think, the first, you know, chunk of the year. And uh, Nipsey Hussle, you know, even though he was an eighth at the time, uh, you know, he had the best catcher 
and, you know, still has one of the best catchers. I think he's got Will Smith. So, you know, at the time, Will Smith was just wrecking shit in that, uh, at that point. So, I mean, that was a highlight, you know, he's still got some dogs on that team though. That's the thing. It's not, it's not over until it's over. It was the next episode, uh, episode five, where shit ass 99 took over first place by 70 and a half, not he has 70 and a half. He wasn't up by 70 and a half. Pardon me. Uh, but he had 70 and a half. Mets 270 was behind in a uh, second with 65. And then we got the FLHC, Francisco Lindor Hay Club, Junior Mafia, Stubby Clapped, and your favorite three teams, the Dick Triple Fan Club, Frat Matt, and Nipsey Hustle. Who else? We were doing that damn good for the first uh, first half of the season. We spent a lot of good time uh, down there. I do have a note here uh, from this episode, episode five. Uh, Francisco Lindor Hate Club uh, spent some time tied for first uh, leading up to the recording of that episode, it looks like. So uh, that's uh, that's that's very noteworthy because, you know, I've, I've seen multiple teams in first place. I think damn near everybody... I I'll have to think about it, but multiple teams besides Mets 270 and Shit Ass 99 have been in first place this year, and uh, Francisco Lindor Hay Club is probably uh, the third team who's you know spent the most time in first place. You know, out of everybody, I know I've seen him up there the most, and uh, and this note confirms that. So he's always been uh, within striking distance of the crown. And, uh, and yeah, so we're going to have to, uh, once we, you know, keep making these, we're going to be able to, uh, you know, see how, uh, how this plays out and, uh, you know, how the baseball season plays out will, you know, obviously have a direct effect on, uh, how our, uh, inaugural season plays out here too. So it'll be fucking pretty cool. So we are now at bullpen league episode six, where we were at. Now, it is worth noting, I just told you about episode five. I, we're wrapping this up. I'm I'm really curious to see how long this one is because I'm going to make it, you know, we're, we're going to do a lot in post, you know, as far as it, it's not hard. I'll be honest, it's not that hard. I, I am looking to switch editing programs, though. So if, uh, if anybody has a great uh, sound program recommendation, I am currently working, working on a uh, MacBook Air but uh, that will probably not be permanent uh, once I, you know, settle in a little bit more financially. But, you know, we'll see. That's not important. But uh, it's worth noting, I just told you about episode five where we were at. Uh, Shitass99 was on top. And uh, and that episode came out on May 29th, okay? So uh, May 29th, uh, the Bullpen League episode five came out, and we didn't have another bullpen league episode until july 1st so uh pretty much the whole month of june uh i we were moving mid-june mid to late june it was more late june now that i think about it uh we were moving in june and uh that that was it it was killing me that whole fucking time but that was a, a gap that happened and uh now you know i uh i last uh made episodes on july 1st now it's July fucking eighteenth, and you know that's been eating me too. So, again, we're aiming for every week. I talked about it before; it's not important here, but you know it's uh that that that's a uh, you know worth noting there. So there's a month gap in there, so at least one, probably it, it would have been two episodes at least. Uh, that shit ass ninety nine still would have been in first place. Uh, you know, in comparison to Mets two seventy, so that's a uh, that lines them up damn near even, and uh, so yeah. Again, we uh, uh, mo- more recently uh, on at the uh, the start of July. So from the last uh, eighteen days or so, uh, you know, shit ass ninety nine was still uh, leading the way as he has been. Junior Mafia at the time was in fourth place. Uh, now he's in sixth. 
the stub man was in fifth. Mets two seventy was uh, duking it in in second. And uh, and yeah, Dick Trickle Fan Club, Frat Matt, and uh, Nipsey Hustle bringing up uh, five through eight there, or uh, six through eight. Sorry, Dick Trickle Fan Club was in sixth. We uh, we spent a lot of time there. As I as I as I I just had a stroke. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we're almost there. The three episodes in one night's fucking crazy. But you know they're they're all coming out. It's um it's gonna be uh exciting. It's. It's going to be, uh, we're, we'll have to see about the editing. That's the other question. But, you know, we're getting there. We're about there, I promise. Thank you for listening to my fucking rambling about uh, fantasy baseball. If you are listening uh, this far, I do uh, really appreciate it. You know, because this, this one, these are the ones where I just feel like they, they get damn near silly sometimes. Because I'm just like, I'm still, you know, this this side show... Uh, and by I sub show, I guess is a, maybe a better exclamation for it, but this like, you know, uh, this like show that I do every two weeks, you know, for this fantasy baseball league, you know, it, it's a, it's an evolving product, just like the podcast itself is, you know, the podcast has its, you know, thing of, you know, mostly me just being, of just rambling about shit or you know when I have a guest on you know we just talk about whatever and it's a good time you know but you know the Voltan League it's it's a very much evolving product and I'm uh I'm I'm always you know I'm gonna be spending some time trying to think about ways to make the uh the bullpen league episodes you know try to make them better and uh you know, see uh, see what little twists and shit I can put into it, and it's uh, it's evolving too. So, you know, figured I'd mention that. And uh, yeah, I mean, in uh, in May, as I said, shit ass ninety nine leading the way. Uh, my team had since climbed out of sixth place uh, after May twenty ninth. Uh, it was within, it was like this last week. I don't even think I've been out for a week. So I feel like I've already talked about it too much and I'm just going to get back down there. So uh, I'm, I'm going to cherish this now and uh, it'll be, it'll be fun to see how the, uh, how, how the rest of this season plays out here. I'm excited to, to, you know, kind of see what the, how the league plays out, where people end up, you know, where the, uh, and, and just get to keep watching baseball, you know, where. We're more than halfway done with uh with the season. I mean, the All Star break's not exactly in the middle. Uh, the uh the second half's a little shorter, I think. So, uh yeah. Uh, if you're uh listening this far, I really do appreciate it. Uh, we've got uh, I'll uh, I'll go through the standings one final time. This whole this most of this episode has just been me reading off the fucking standings at different times. So. Uh, you know, I, if, if you dug that and yeah, I, I, you're, you're a special person (laughs) and I mean that in the most loving way possible. Uh, you know, if you're listening this far, uh, I really appreciate it. And, uh, and we're, we're going to wrap this up here because, you know, this is the end of the third episode and I still have to edit all these fucking things. So, and this one's probably going to be the longest one. That's kind of fucked up. So, uh, closing out here where we're leaving at in the standings. Going into the All Star break, uh, good luck, fellas. Uh, we got shit ass ninety nine, stubby clapped, Francisco Lindor hate club, the Dick Trickle fan club, Mets two seventy, Junior Mafia, Frat Matt, and Nipsey Hustle. Uh, we got it's the second half. A good amount of games left. Anything can fucking happen. I'm uh, I'm excited to keep making these and uh, keep watching baseball. Uh, I don't have blackout restrictions anymore for Cardinal games, so that's uh, that's been the shit so far. Uh, I'm excited to keep watching the birds. Uh, you know, I'm uh, my my mouth gets me in trouble, so I'm uh, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Uh, that's uh, yeah. So uh, again, I'm aiming for every week. Uh, at least an episode every week. I don't know what day yet, but uh, I've said it like three or four fucking times at this point. But if you're listening this far, I uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I and I really appreciate that you did listen. Uh, this is a 
this show's a fun time and uh fantasy baseball is a fun time for me too and I uh I've I've got like five teams. I mean, I'm a big fucking nerd for it. I mean, I don't know why, but it's uh it's just a part of baseball that I really enjoy. So and uh and this show's a, a great outlet for that shit too. So um yeah, hope you have a great fucking week, dog. Uh on a random Thursday I'm dropping three fucking episodes for no reason. And uh and this is the closing uh let's say fifteen seconds and I'll actually uh make sure that we're done here. So, you know, I'm I'm real famous for the fucking Midwestern goodbyes. I'm always doing that shit, but at this point, you know, I uh oh, I'm already doing it. <laughs> okay. You get the joke? All right. Thank you for listening.